Ha <laughs> how's it going guys? My name is Rai Chess Nikki and welcome to another rank conquerors of the storm game. Okay. London Europe? <laughs> what the fuck? Why would you name yourself like that? <laughs> okay. Um your second pick. Holy shit, so much chaos. I don't want to have to ban Illidan. Luming, K, K. We're going to see a Sawama, a Shawanore. <laughs> um, yeah, Kyoto has been pretty picked recently. Um, got, I guess his changes make him a pretty solid. Damage doer To be honest So yeah Okay, this is okay Wow, what is that hero? Random? How do you stop showing a hero? How, how did he do that? What? I don't get it Zul and Leoric, huh? Huh Oh, I'm going Tychus for this game. I've been playing a lot of Tychus recently, actually. And Tychus is so good versus tanky champions like Leoric, for say. Especially tanky champions that don't, don't have much CC. Now I perfected a build for my Tychus that really works for me. And if you make it work, man, Tychus is one of those heroes that you are never going to catch on damage. Because he just burns people around pretty fast of course you need to position yourself pretty carefully because you might get shit on but otherwise Tychus man I really love his rework and I'm going to show you a bit of Tychus today I hope if it's a pretty nice game and yeah I actually don't like that we have two range assassin but we can still make it work right ban 86 get, uh, got banned there we won't have a Karazin support, so I guess I could ban maybe a Rhaegar. Yeah, it's worth a shot. Jaina. Alright, Jaina is one of those things that I hate versus Tychus because she can kite me. Throw is one of also one thing that really bothers me as a Tychus. I think uh, the main reason Throw was picked is actually to counter someone like Vawa. And killed us not much me to be honest because Throw can stop channel Utis and Karazim got picked. We don't really wanna Oh that's our time I thought that's actually Tassadar. Holy shit. Okay, well our team has no CC. It really sucks. Hmm If they pick one more CC character, I might actually need to go for level 7 Talim Reduce CC. Um, this one I'm talking about, Lentress Soldier, Reduce stuff by 33% and Lily is actually not that kind of a thing. Actually Lily is a great support hero, we don't have stun to disrupt her and she's going to make us miss our attacks. So let's roll. I'm actually... Faced versus a lot of war ranks recently, I don't know why, maybe I because I've been on a losing streak, but it's really like rank 7 has enough MMR to play versus me? I Maybe because I'm playing early in the morning and there are not much high rank people queued up. Alright, now, a lot of people might get confused about your first talent here, and there are actually some pretty nice talents. Um, here that you could uh, pick most of the people actually pick shrug it off but i go for combat tactician basic attacks reduce cooldown of running gun by 0 0.75 seconds now what thing you want to know about Tychus is actually your attack speed is four attacks per second that means that if you attack for one second you're going to reduce the cooldown of that by three seconds and that's huge you really need to take that in consideration now we have a Leoric coming from the side. I'm going to be doing uh, the minigun damage to Leoric. I'm going to burn him down pretty nicely. And I'm going to go with the 
my Q, dealing tons of damage there. And we are doing pretty nicely there. Okay. Now the minigun is going to be the... This is minigun. Uh, it deals 2% of their maximum health for 3 seconds. This is going to be your main damage ability, especially on level 4. And I'm going to show you pretty soon why. Uh, it doesn't do that much at the moment, but with the level 4 talent, let's go, the bigger they are. Let me go to the bottom. I don't want to be facing Lyoric, man. If Lyoric is on the bottom, I don't mind. So, the bigger they are, increase minigun's damage from 2 to 4%, but it only applies if the character is above 40% HP. No, I'm not going versus uh, Zoomate. I'm staying versus Lyoric. I'm the tank killer. And you can see it's already pretty strong uh, without the talent upgrade. You can imagine that with the talent upgrade I'm going to be burning Lyoric two times as fast. And now I'm going to show pretty soon how this works. Could really use a fountain before joining my team there. Now there are also the other level 4 talents are pretty nice as well, but I've grown to like this particular talent. Let us back it out. Alright, the bigger they are. Alright, let's use it now. Actually, my minigun is on cooldown. Awesome stuff. Yo! Awesome stuff. I got a bit low there, but we killed tons of people. Okay, I don't know if, I, if you actually saw how the bigger the arc hit Lyoric for once, it actually did a hundred bonus damage because of his HP. And I'm going to show you show it to you in action right now. Um, other talents that you might consider picking uh, in Rhythm is a pretty nice one versus a lot of tanks. Fully loaded, not that much. Master Assassin if you go f if you want to go for a more an auto attack build, but this one is the best. Just watch now. I'm actually in a very bad position there. Eh, maybe we can kill throw actually here. Awesome. Bam. Now. Let's go on Lily then. Just look that minigun damage man. Maybe she can die from the Keltas? Nah, she got healed probably. Right. Do I want to relent her soldier? I haven't been got that much CC on me and Karazin probably has a cleanse, I hope. I don't know if he actually has this talent but I'm going for quarterback. I mainly pick that for a finisher. If I don't have the damage to finish something I just throw the grenade uh, at long range and snipe them. That's what I mainly use the grenade for. Now let's go on a minigun on Jaina there, I'm going to burn her pretty quickly there. Okay. What the man's gotta do? I'm gonna go back to the middle there. Uh, the HP uh, from the minigun, the HP damage isn't that strong versus non-tank characters, so I really want to be facing Glorik most of the time. Actually, let's uh, just kill this turret there. Awesome. Let's just move back a bit because, yeah. Oops, alright, let's uh, just clear the wave a bit with my Q. It's actually called Overkill. Let's go frag grenade, running gun. Alright, I don't see Lyoric here. Lyoric, show your face so I can show how fantastic this damage dealing is. Watch. Holy shit, man. He's just on the run now. Eh. You see that? Just look at the stats. 19k. I'm 10k above everyone else just because of that talent. Alright. Could lose some extra heals. Karazim. Karazim! <laughs> I'm going to just check for a Lyoric here. Oh, Vow is dead. 
I think I can place a Jaina here. I'm going to slow her down. I'm not in range for overkill though. I think I can two versus one those guys, especially with the mercs. It's going to be a bit hard, but not impossible. Let's go for the. Alright, one down at least. And the other still has to deal with the mercs, so our team is having a favorable fight on the bottom, but Val is actually has been dead. Alright, we'll go for Drake and Laser Drill with this build. Because your main damage is going to be from auto attack minigun and overkill. So you don't really want to be going into the Odin. Odin is a a bit more synergistic wood when you have something like ATC or Zagara with which you can combo up some damage. The laser drill is like a secondary damage dealing unit that your the enemy team might consider focusing. So it's a pretty nice way to stop them a bit. Okay. As you can see, I almost reset my running gun. And yeah. I'm just going to be staying here for now, but not with Jaina here. I hope Lorik doesn't have an entomb. Shit. Alright, let's put a drill here. I'm going to dodge that circle of ice. And things are going pretty well for us for now, actually. Thank god the team reacted pretty nicely. Hmm. I'm in a bad spot here. Could really use some extra heals. Alright, Keltos going to pick up a kill at Sundering going down. Going to go minigun damage here. Awesome. Alright, I'm going to need to definitely dodge that thing. I'm getting extremely low there. I'm going to need to back it out. Nice team fighting overall. Oh, Lorik. I really need actually my level 13 talent. Now, here's where this is probably the hardest talent that you're going to need to decide. It has three pretty good things. Neo Steel Coating, this uh, you would like to pick versus bursty characters. It's actually pretty good versus Jenna, but I really don't like picking it. I, the one time we, I would pick it definitely is going to be a Pyroblast Keltas. That's the stuff, that's the talent you're going to need. Um, it's going to heal tremendously with your upgraded passive with the bigger DR and I'm going to show you right now how. Spray and Pray range by 25% is also pretty strong, I would suggest picking that if you want to play a bit more not so aggressive but otherwise let's just go on Leoric here awesome damage put this thing up and I'm going to try to catch out catch on Jaina there maybe hmm that didn't work out pretty well now I actually could bait Leoric here I'm going to have a pretty nice regen just look, look at that regen look it 150 <laughs> and Lyric is just going down as fast as I'm going up. Do you see how strong this build is? Like, the improved bonus percentage is healing me for improved percentages again. And actually I could go on Lyric here. Mm, not enough. If he wasn't that close to the wall there, I could probably finish him out, but yeah. Yeah, don't worry about me. Uh oh, I guess I am ripped. Uh, thank god the minion waves are going to slow down. Mm, yeah, I'm just fine. 40k damage and their top is 20k. <laughs> okay. Um, we could actually team fight here. I don't have my ult here, but. Oops. Should go back a bit. I'm in a bad position. I have my minigun ready. Let's dodge this uh, Zoo Uti. And let's actually go on troll here. Burst him down. Oh shit. I need to go in a better position there. Alright, let's go on Lyric now. Let's put a drill here. Oh yeah. Give me that damage. 
Going to finish that guy. Can I get an overkill range? Yes. Yo! Not going to be enough though. I have my quarterback ready. Awesome. Let's quarterback for Lily. Oh, I didn't manage to go. Alright. Next talent. Titan Grenade is actually one of those pretty invisible talents that people can actually... I'm actually going to go for armor piercing rounds because 50% damage to the main target is really what I need. I'm actually using my overkill for one target only. But Titan Grenade is actually one of those talents that people don't really see the strength of. I'm going to give you the calculations. 5% of their maximum health. One hero on average, uh, a paper hero like let's say Vawa has 2000 HP. Maximum health. That means 5% from 2000 HP is 50. Stop the fucking me man, I need mana. Alright. Now, take in consideration. Actually, it's 100, not 50. 100. An average tank has between 4000 and 6000 HP. That means your grenade is going to do between 200 and 300 extra damage. And that's almost 100% increase on damage. You need to really to see how much damage boost this talent actually gives the Titan Grenade. Now I go for the armor pressing rounds because when I finish out with my minigun I tend to go with the overkill to finish out the single target. And the damage increase is really, really worth it there. You should be really careful though. Or dies here, don't go that aggressive. Don't go that aggressive for Tanis. I'm gonna actually go with, gonna go with the overkill here. I'm going to put a drill. Let's try to stun Lily. I didn't manage to do it. Let's go damage on Tyk on Leoric. Awesome. And we're just wrecking them here. Let's put a grenade there. Awesome. Overkill. Mm, Try is going to escape. Let's uh, just shrug out on Lily there. Grenade! Bam! Oh, she went on so little. But we're finishing them off very nicely there. Could actually go minigun and heal myself. Ah, uh, come on. Come on, Leoric. And just go for the boss. Oh, Jaina. I still go on Jaina there. I am getting pretty well though. Damn, I died and the game lagged and Karzin didn't save me. Hmm. And I think that was my oh, it's third death. I actually thought it was my first death and just look at that damage, man. Holy shit. Alright. I did uh, I did end a bit cocky there and I shouldn't have started with the overkill. I needed to heal a bit with the minigun first. It was my mistake there. I'm going to take this boss pretty easily. And we're pretty close to finishing out the game here. I level 20. Um, I, by the way, I also should suggest you that you don't take this talent, Lead the Rain. The only reason you want to go this talent is if you go for a full overkill build and you're playing versus a lot of melees. Our team is wrecking them there. Very nice. Uh, level 20 here. I would suggest going sizzling attacks only if you're playing versus at least two tanks. Bob and Weave is... I haven't actually tried Bob and Weave up till now, but it's pretty nice if they have a lot of assassins. What I would suggest you is going focusing the odds. It's going to give a increased uh, range on the turret by 50%, which is extremely important, and 100% extra damage to a, a singular target, which actually is a lot when they don't focus the turret. So I really suggest that you upgrade your turret as a note here. I just dodge that. I'm going to get level 20 and we're heavily winning this game to be honest. I'm going to get, uh, they're going to lose probably all their forts there if they don't contest the tempo right now. Yep. We actually might uh, do some core damage there. And most of them are going to the bottom. Yeah, I can uh, handle a wall here. Actually, our team is killing them. We could probably leave the core at least at 50% there. 
All right, throw. Mm, three people are coming from the bottom. I need to get the hell out of here. Mm, could just push here. Thirty-eight. We have low twenty. Why not? You yeah, just help our tanis there. Tanis is in a very bad position. God damn. Let's put the drill here. I'm healing myself on Lorik. That minigun damage, man. And the turret damage. Just look at that damage. Beautiful. And it's going to be game. 69k. Perfect number. <laughs> GG. Yo. And this, guys, is how you play Tychus. I might be playing this hero more often. It's actually not uh, very nice in most situations, especially in a, a very strong stunt compositions, but it worked out pretty decently this game, to be honest. We are 97 points. Okay. And it's going to be the talent builds. As you can see, I'm doing double the damage from their most top damage. So you can see the raw power of Tychus. And it's going to be everything from me today, guys. Thank you for watching. And until next time, stay righteous. Maybe or E. Whatever the case, that's going to make Tassler a bit more worn of. No, he ate me. Fuck. Tyrio, do you have a certification? Yes, but I'm not going to survive here. Probably. Oh, I'm off. I can't jump through the door, goddammit. I can't kill Tassler as well. My team is doing their best to defend me. Thank you, Zagara. Finally, Faustot from the side here.